So in New York City, more than 16,000 New Yorkers have moved to Connecticut in the last three months. Okay, Connecticut is a state north of New York. Um, United Van Lines says that 1,000 out-of-state moves from New York City, uh, 28% to Florida and California. If you go to California from New York, you're not getting away from it. All right, 16% Texas and North Carolina. In Manhattan, July, home sales dipped 56%. So nobody's buying, okay? Month of March this year, 256% increase in people moving out of New York. Phew. I mean, it's huge. My prediction is that before the pandemic, there were 8.5 million people in New York City. This time next year, there'll be 7 million. You can use a million and a half, mainly high wage earners. Now, in California, hire a helper, examine which states people are going. 63% more people moved out of California than in. All right. The data was released on August 25th, just last week. All right. In San Francisco, new real estate listings, 96% jump. So that means 96% more people selling a house in San Francisco now than they did last year at this time. Crazy. But I'm not living in this stuff. I, I've made it quite clear to the powers that be in New York, you slap a wealth tax on, I'm gone. All right? I don't have to live in the city. Thank God I don't live in the city. Because Nassau County, where I am, and then Suffolk County, have the uh, vacation place, they're under control, those counties. They still enforce the law there, but not in New York City. The law is not enforced. It's not enforced. And that's why the city is falling apart. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No spin news every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.